Do you not know you are the temple of? And there's what? The Spirit of God dwells in? So the grafted life is the Spirit of God that lives in you. To dwell is to live. Praise the Lord. All of us came out from a home today, amen? In the same way you came out of a home, the same way the Spirit of the Lord has a home in you. Praise the Lord. No wonder in Romans chapter 5, it will tell us that we, that we will not be disappointed. Listen, your hope will not be disappointed. The things that you're saying, ah, oh, Lord, and I wanted to achieve this for you in 2020, that hope will not be disappointed. The fact that they've closed some borders in the world, that will still not lead to the disappointment in your life. It will not. But cause why? The love of God has been shed upon our hearts by the spirit that is given. And God himself is love. Praise the Lord. And so God has shed himself upon your heart. Praise the Lord. You cannot be disappointed. That is why he says that you are the temple of God. God's house is none other than your very person. Amen. And the Spirit of God dwells, lives there. Can we begin to act like we know that the Spirit of God lives there? The Spirit of liberty lives here. The Spirit of freedom lives here. Praise the Lord. In 1 Corinthians 3.23 it says, And you are Christ, and Christ is God's. Which means I am God's. 